I'm obsessed with rivers. Ever since I started doing wilderness river trips, I've become continually amazed at the simple beauty that lies in these pristine lands. The ability to get away from it all and just enjoy nature. Exploring the unknown is one of the greatest feelings that there is. To spend time with old friends and make new ones. To laugh and share stories around the campfire of the day's events when the sun goes down. Creating friendships that will last a lifetime, built by the bonds of a shared experience of something so amazing. To enjoy the canyon's abundant wildlife in their natural habitat as they are meant to be seen, undisturbed by man. To take the time to slow down and move with the natural rhythm of nature, to reflect on your own humanity. To explore around the next corner of the river bend or side canyon as it reveals itself to you like opening a present on Christmas. Turning the corner of the canyon only to find something incredible and turn the next, and next, and so on. To reconnect with the ancient people that used to call this land home. Their homes built into the cliff walls, now only ruins of rubble endure. The remnants of their lives and culture are littered throughout the canyon like faded echoes in time. You can leave behind everything that can be so troubling and stressful in this modern life and melt into the river as does the snow that gives it life, finding peace and quiet. The canyon is deep, its walls expansive looming high overhead. In its depth lies the river, the thundering beating heart of the land. It is the lifeblood that gives meaning and birth to all things. The river has created all that surrounds it, carving its way down, contained by its own creation. It knows exactly where it's going, and it takes its time getting there. The river will change you. You will not be the same person that entered these canyon walls days ago. You will be a better person, an enlightened person. John Muir once said, the sun shines not on us, but in us. The rivers flow not past, but through us. I cherish the time I spend on the river. Like most things, this trip will come to an end. At the end of every trip, there's this sadness that something great has ended and is lost to time as you re-enter the real world. But you realize as you regain civilization, that this is not the real world. The real world is out there. It's the one you've been living in the last couple of days. And you are renewed with the idea of planning the next adventure and re-entering that ancient river canyon that has captivated your soul and continues to carry it downstream.